now. Five years ago, 35-year-old Claudia Lawrence disappeared from her home city of York. No one has seen or heard from her since. Well, tonight, following a review of the case, detectives can now reveal potentially crucial new leads. Well, Detective Superintendent Di Malin from North Yorkshire Police is in charge of this one. Now, Di, uh, many people will be familiar with Claudia's story. For those people who are not, tell me what you know. Well, Claudia was last seen on the afternoon of Wednesday, the 18th of March 2009, on her way home from work. We know that evening that she took two calls from her parents. The following day, she was expected to walk to work to the College of York, where she was a chef, to arrive at 6 a.m. She never arrived, and her father reported her missing then on the 20th of March 2009. Now, you have new forensics, both from Claudia's house and from her car. Take me through that. That's right. We've done a full forensic review of the house. As a result of that, we've got additional fingerprints raised, and we're trying to identify the people from that. And we've also found a cigarette in her car, which has a male DNA profile on it, and we need to identify who that cigarette belongs to. And you have more to reveal tonight, don't you? Yes, we're hoping your viewers can help us with a number of items. Uh, the first are two vehicles we've identified as a result of a CCTV review. Now, the first vehicle is an Astra van. Uh, it was picked up on a bus CCTV. We believe it was parked opposite her address about 9 o'clock at night, and that's the last time Claudie was heard from. So we need to identify uh, the owner and user of that van. Now, that was from a bus. You also have footage of a car. Tell me about that. That's right. This car was picked up on uh, CCTV on Heworth Road, where Claudia lives. It was about 5.42 a.m. in the morning when she would have been walking to work. Now, that uh, vehicle is believed to be a light hatchback, possibly a Ford Focus, and it breaks unexpectedly, we think, near to her house. What I want to know is why that vehicle did break, who was in it, and did it stop to give her a lift to work, or has it seen something significant? You want to trace the drivers, obviously. There are also two men you want to identify. Take me through that. That's right. The first man was seen on Heworth Road during the week leading up to Claudia's disappearance. He's described as a male in his 30s, 5 foot 8 to 5 foot 9, with very tidy brown hair with a fringe. Now, it looked as if he was looking for an address. He was on the phone and he had a rucksack on his back. He appeared to walk up to a green door, which we thought was Claudia's door, and the lady at the door uh, appeared surprised, but then let the man in. So that's one man. Tell me about the other. This could be hugely significant. This is from a witness who says that on the morning of Claudia's disappearance, a quarter to seven in the morning, he saw a male described as 55 to 65 with grey hair, mid-length, and he was wearing a three-quarter length sandy-coloured mac. It's really important we trace that man. Di, thanks very much. A lot of new information there. Now, Claudia's disappearance attracted a lot of attention at the time, some of it focusing on her lifestyle. Understandably, her sister, Ali, is still concerned that that stopped people from coming forward. How she was portrayed in the press at the time as being a manhunter was so unfair and just made me really cross. Um, because, yeah, she was pretty. She had lots of admirers. It's just how a normal 35-year-old would lead their life. I know that a lot of people came forward at the time, but there are still some people that we want to come forward. Imagine living with not knowing what's happened to a member of your family day in, day out for five years. You know, the wondering. We just need to know what's happened to her. We need to find her. They need to find her. Now, North Yorkshire Police have launched a special website for the investigation where all of this information and more new lines of inquiry can be found. If you can help in any way, please call the numbers on the screen. Kirsty.